hello everyone and welcome back to our channel this video is all about how to set up wix forms in this video we're going to do a tutorial on wix forms we're going to show you two ways in which you can add forms to your wix website so let's begin the first process is pretty simple and for that you need to first open up the site that you have created so we are on my sites on wix.com create your account create your site and then when you go to my sites you will see the site so hover your cursor on the site click on select and edit site and let the page open so this is the dashboard for your website and to enter the editor you need to click over here on the button that says design site that'll take you to the wix website editor give it a few seconds to load and so this is a sample website for fashion that I have created. And on this website, I'm going to demonstrate the two ways in which you can add forms to your Wix website. So let's start with the first way of adding a form to your website. In the first method, you'll first need to go and click on the plus icon in the left navigation panel. Now over here you see you've got a lot of categories for elements and you need to go to contact and forms. So inside contact and forms, you've got all these categories and you can see there are a lot of uh, pre-made forms that you can simply click and add to your website. Say I want to add a form for subscriptions. I want my visitors to come and subscribe to my mailing list for new look books, etc. So for that, we will go to this section that says subscribe and you can see there are a few pre-made forms over here. And I'm going to go ahead and select this simple form. Once you click on it, it will get added to the website. So right now it has gone to the header. If you want to change its position, you simply need to drag it and put it somewhere else. So say I'm going to add a section over here. Click on add section, move that out of the way. And we're just going to drag and drop this element, which is a subscribe box to that section. And then the left navigation panel expands. So you need to just click on blank section and a blank section gets added over there. You can adjust its size in whatever way you want. And a blank section has been added over here. Let's just adjust its length and move this to that section. So this is going to be our subscription place where people will come and enter whatever details they want so you can change and alter the details inside this form it's pretty simple if you click on the text over here you'll get these pop-ups and you'll just click on edit text and you can change the text so I'm gonna write something like get your look book subscribe now and you can change its alignment as well. So you can just click over here, change the alignment. You can increase the font size as well. I'm going to increase it to fit the box. And this is the place where people will enter their email address. It's a field. And this is the button that people will click to join our email list. Now you can change what it says on the button as well. Just click on settings and you can change the text from here. So. I'm going to write subscribe. You can choose whether it should show a success message after the button has been clicked by the visitor. And if it does show a success message, then what should it be? Currently, it is thanks for subscribing. And then you can set a time for how much that uh, message should be shown. I'm going to change this to six and move that out of the way. Now you can see subscribe is going a little bit to the border so you can change the button's length as well. So this is the first method in which you can add a simple form to your website using the existing templates inside this navigation panel over here. Now let's do a demo of this uh, form that we have added. You simply need to click on save, click on publish. These are the two steps that you will need to do once you make any changes to your website. And then if you hover your cursor on the publish button again, you will see that there is the view site option over here and that will take you to a preview of your website. And there it is. You can see that this is the form that we just added. If you put in your email address and click the subscribe button, you can see that the message has come. So that was the first method in which you can add a simple form to your website. Now let's look at the second method, which is a bit complicated, but I'll take you through it step by step for that you need to go to something called content manager over here and first of all add it to site so click on add to site and it gets added 
When it gets added, the navigation panel on the left side will expand in this way. So you need to add a form, right? So you will start with a preset. Click on it and it will open a pop-up window like this. And you need to select services. So just click on add to site and that will be added to the site. Another page called services is getting added to the site right now. Now this is by default the services inside this content. So you are adding this collection to your website which means whatever is existing in that collection it will get added to your website like this. So you have a page called services and all the things have been added. That is not exactly what we want. So we're going to edit it. We're going to go to content manager. We're going to go to collections and we see that this is the services. So we're going to go inside that by clicking on it and delete the existing uh, stuff. You can do that by simply clicking over here and click on delete. Now what we're going to do is add our contact or lookbook form. Let's add a lookbook form. So for that you need to click on add item and say we are going to call this get your lookbook. Okay, that's the title of the form and currently it has a price field over here. So if you want to add or delete any fields, you click on manage fields and there will be a pane that expands on the right side. I'm going to untick this price because I don't want all this. I'm going to show you how you can add one for from scratch. So we have the title over here and we're going to remove these as well. And we're going to click on add field. So to get lookbook, I think we need the person's name. We're going to select text in the field type. We're going to write name in the field name and click on save so the person whoever wants a lookbook will enter their name here let's also add another field for let's say number and in this number we want their age so basically you select a field type you give the field a name and click on save and the field will be added to your form last but not the least let's also add a field for image in the field type select image in the field name i'm writing your latest picture whatever you want it to be and click on save there and then click on save over here so this creates our new collection within the content manager inside services now we don't want it to be called services right so click on the three dots again and go on edit settings and let us rename this to look book after renaming we will simply click on save over here now that that is done, we need to again click on the three dots and select this, which is add blank dynamic page. Now allow the website to add this item as a blank dynamic page and you can see it has been added over here. So if you click on save and you go to the pages and menu section, you will see that your site has now the home page, which we, were, we had designed and then the services. Now we need to link this dynamic page to the page we created. For that, click on change link, open the drop down menu and select this look book that we had created and we are done. So that's exactly how you can add a contact form in the form of a dynamic page. Now, if you go to the pages and menu section and you go to your home page, you will see that the services has been added over here and that is exactly where we have added the contact form in the form of a dynamic page. With this, we have come to an end to this tutorial. We truly hope it has benefited you to let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you have any topic suggestions or anything else to let us know, then put that too in the comments section. We'll catch you soon in our next video. Till then, stay tuned and stay subscribed.